All right, well, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Joe here, and we're back with an update on the Trident 660, and it's first time, a little, a little over 700, actually close to 800 miles now. So, you know, we're just going to discuss what it's been like for the first three weeks of riding, and the rumors about does this thing open up after after driving? Ah, I hate no turn on red. Boo. I hate talking when I'm not moving. I don't know. That's kind of like a... I don't know what that is. So let's let's come back to this. All right. So, you know, like I was saying, there's the rumors about this bike that it is restricted until you do the first service. Then it finally opens up. And there's plenty of talks about it on the forums. And even on Yami Noob's channel, a lot of people giving him heat when he reviewed this bike, saying there was, you know, the lack of throttle response, et cetera. And they were saying, hey, Yami, you know, you just got to wait for this thing to, to break in and then it'll really open up. And they posted all sorts of comments. And I've seen the comments all, like I said, on message boards as well. So, you know, I wanted to see for myself as far as is this thing, now that it, it, I've hit the first service and I've done the first service on it, does this thing actually open up? and feel more responsive and the answer is <laughs> what is the answer i don't know the answer is kind of yes and no and i i think i know the reason for that it definitely feels more responsive it definitely feels like it's it just wants to go a little bit more um but i think really the truth behind that is you know people being able to rev it more now that the rev indicators are moved up. You know, it used to flash at, at 4,000 RPMs, or I think it's like 4,500, but whatever, in the fours, it would flash. And, you know, you were, I guess you would kind of think, ah, oh, I don't want to rev it too high. It's, uh, you know, got to break in the engine. So, you know, of course, in those higher rev ranges, you're going to have more power, uh, you know, more torque up there. So it's going to feel more powerful. So I think a lot of it is just people being able to rev it more without that flashing kind of warning them and then backing off thinking all right i gotta you know back off can't rev it you know without that flashing anymore i mean i don't the rev line on this thing is is 10 grand i never got that well i've got it up to, to like nine and I, I honestly i don't know if it was flashing because i was holding on for dear life to, <laughs> to look down but you know the other part of this that i think what makes the bike more responsive or at least feel more responsive to people is you know, just experience and driving the bike more, you know, you put, let's say, 600 miles on a 650, 700 miles, whatever. That's more experience you have on the bike. I've had this bike three weeks now, and I, like I said, I feel like it's more responsive. I feel like it's, um, you know, just wants to go a little bit more. And I think, for me, that's just, you know, becoming more familiar with it and getting more comfortable with it. And I kind of want to believe that that's what's happening with everyone else as well that they're just you know feeling more comfortable on the bike and you know with the, without the restrictions of the rpms flashing at you i think gives them a little more confidence to you know put, get on it a little bit more and and rev it up so i don't know that's my take anyone that's got a, a trident or you know triumph in general because i don't know if they do that with all their bikes or if this rumor is for all their bikes but the rumor is definitely for for this bike for sure you know check out the you know, message boards and videos and, you know, people always comment that all oh, the bikes, you know, really wakes up after the first service. I, you know, I, I don't know if I buy that. Um, but I can say just from my own experience, you know, not even talking about the bike opening up or the break-in period, but, you know, 700 miles of, or I didn't do, I bought the bike with 425 miles on it. So I've done about, you know, 300 miles, but, you know, three weeks, 300 miles later of the bike, I am really, really enjoying this bike. It is just uh, super comfortable. Uh, I just love the way it feels. Um, one of the things that I did do just to, to test out as far as responsiveness is I took all the, I disabled all the safety features. You know, one day I you know, disabled the ABS, the traction control, um, I guess throttle control is, it falls under that as well. And <laughs> that I could honestly say then the bike really opened up because it the throttle really uh, felt more responsive and I think I'm not sure but I feel like I actually lifted the front wheel um, and I've seen videos on on YouTube you'll see guys that disable the traction control 
and they just do power wheelies, you know, without even popping the clutch or anything. They just, you know, give it gas and they're able to lift the front wheel. And I can say that with the traction control off, I gunned it. I think the wheel came off the ground. I mean, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not an experienced enough rider to try and hold a wheelie or even want to do a wheelie for, for that part, for that mark, I should say anyway. But it, uh, it felt like the wheel came off. So I, of course, I immediately let go of the throttle, came back down. I mean, if I was even up in the first place, who knows? But yeah, that's, uh, you know, that, that's my experience so far with the bike. I, I'm loving this thing. I really, really am. You know, the next mods I want to do for it, I want to get a windshield. Uh, if anyone's got one or knows of a good one for this, I don't want those little tiny ones. I really don't think they do much. I want something that actually blocks the wind, but not, you know, too big. And I want to get a good set of uh, bags for this. Uh, there's one that I think Hepco and something, I forget who the heck makes it. But they make some nice hard shell bags, but they're uh, out of stock everywhere and on back order. So let's just soak this in. What a beautiful day. It's supposed to get cooler tonight. Rain, storms, and rain tomorrow, and then cool down. So I'm trying to get my riding in. So, all right, guys. I'm going to end my vlog here with just absorbing this beautiful scenery. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Hit like, hit subscribe if you really enjoy the channel. I uh, appreciate it. Um, we're almost at 1,000 subscribers. It would be cool to really hit 1,000 by the end of the month. That would be awesome. So I thank everyone that has subscribed. Uh, really appreciate it. And uh, as always, have a great day, everyone.